you can also, you know, view it from the front. I actually want these to come back a little bit more. I don't want there to be a terribly large arm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see where I'm going. What I'm going, where I'm going with that. Okay. Okay. Well, right here, um, I need to do some tweaking because the way this one quad gets pinned in there, I, I don't like that at all. So let's go back to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to subdivide that and basically makes a face out of this. I got the right pieces. Aha! Uh -huh. I see we can't make a face out of that. Let's undo all that. <coughs> I just go along these and divide that. W subdivide. And let's move them from the front. Okay, let's put these back into quads. Alt J. I'm sorry, not Alt M. Alt J, there we go. And I'm going to take this one and subdivide it. W, subdivide. And then we'll make these faces. One face. I, I call them faces. I'm at these edges. I'll do the same thing here. Okay. And that's a little bit better. Let's go to vertices and go back to the right. Whoops, I'm doing this wrong. Relatively wrong. I'm not doing it wrong, but... If we can see through here, you would see that the breast actually is curved back into here, like so, going up into the shoulder. But the ribs are actually in here as well, so... Because it's kind of, uh... The ribs are convex. And they kind of round out a little bit. So this is going to be kind of the side of the breast. So we want to curl that back a bit. And this is kind of going to be the top of the breast. Right, let's go back to the side. Back to the front. Okay, so that's a side. <coughs> and let's take that out a little bit more. And we're going to need to add another division here. If this is the top of the breasts, this is the center of the breasts, this is quite obviously going to be the bottom of the breasts. So, so basically what I'm saying is that we don't have enough going on right there to make breasts. So. mess around with this stuff. This is going to be pretty much the neck area. <coughs> Let's grab those faces. X faces. X faces. I just grabbed the ones on the back as well. Whoops. Vertices. And take that one down a little bit. And these we can pull up and out. Let's go to the back. Whoops, control one. Um, I think I'm hitting the Z key. Nope. I don't know what I'm hitting that's making it do that. Oh, I'm hitting, um, I don't know what the key is because I'm on a German keyboard. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, pause one is the key. So, anyway, the back of the shoulder is here. <coughs> and here we have, uh, what's going to kind of turn into the shoulder blade. Let's just rotate that edge. Let's keep, there we go. That's what I was trying to get at. And this one, 
Uh, we can just make this a face, but I want to see what happens if we rotate it as well. <coughs> and I'm not sure if I want to go with that or not. So we're not going to make any commitment to it. We're just going to leave it like that for now. Let's rotate that one a little bit. There we go. So let's add another loop vertically. Let's look at the back though. Okay. <clears throat> right there. Let's go to the front and go to vertices. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll just start uh, doing some more manipulating. And this might be a little bit low right now. So I take that up and I'm going to start taking these up too because those breasts, actually they're right down there and we may not have the divisions needed yet to start taking care of this stuff and we're basically changing a lot of stuff at the same time when we're just moving a few things okay let's look at that from over here go to the right take that one back Look at it again from the front. Okay. Let's kind of start playing with these. Okay. Not a lot to really play with, so to speak. There we go. better. I'm actually going to grab these and take them in a little bit from the right. Yeah, like so. So we get the stomach to stick out a little bit. And let's take these and pull these out too to kind of bow it. It's going to leave a little help on the shape, but we're not interested in that. Not at all. We don't want those sticking out too far. Past this one. Quite apparently. <coughs> okay, there's some flatness on the back because of those divisions as well that we've neglected. I mean, you guys neglected. <laughs> you guys. I'm going to pull that in halfway. I'll turn off this back side because... Oh, I just turned it on. Okay, well. Go like that. Go back to the side. Pull it in halfway between those two. A little bit less than halfway. And then we're going to take the middle one and actually just pull it in a little bit. Start pulling some of these in. The top one will leave if we don't pull it out a little bit. Like that. Okay, let's go to the back. Control 1. And start to moving some of these around a little bit. totally ignoring everything that we've done before. Okay. 
Let's make it a little bit <clears throat> more of a behind. Okay. I want those to actually come out a little bit more. Okay. And this needs to come back. Probably this one as well. We'll just kind of start interpolating these a little bit better. And down here we need to start uh, kind of coming to a, a point where we're not going to interplay them so much. Okay. I don't really just kind of haven't been adjusting like I should, which is why we're having to readjust all this stuff now. And it's actually going to kind of play with our legs a little bit. There we go. And right there. Well, we'll be okay with that. We're going to have some points that have uh, five polys, etc. So. Pull this forward on Y a little bit. Okay. And I'm actually going to get this flow going back to here a little bit. The collarbone actually comes from back there and comes up here, so uh, eventually we're going to have to mess with that. Okay, well this is going to be the end of the first one. I just want to start roughing a few things. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We'll continue on. That abdomen is very broad. I need to, we need to adjust that. Um, we're still going to add more divisions, and this is basically just a rough torso kind of thing. So don't be overly concerned with it looking boxy, but good right now. So anyway, um, go ahead and save your scene. F2, let's say Bloody Molly 02's plus up on that. Save. It's going to ask me to save over because I already have it in there. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.